Okay, uh, we are going to talk in this example uh, about lower of cost or market. And if you are using the uh, Spice Linear Intermediate Accounting book, this is uh, exercise 9-5, but you don't need it because we have the problem right here. So we have the inventory of Royal Decking consisted of five products. Information about the December 31st, 2011 inventory is as follows. So we've got our products, we have our costs, we have our replacement costs, and we have our selling price. Disposal costs consist only of a sales commission equal to 10% of the selling price and shipping costs equal to 5% of cost. Uh, their normal gross profit percentage is 30% of our selling price. So what unit value should we Royal Decking use for each of its products when applying the lower cost of market rule to inventory? Now, if you, under lower cost or market, um, you might think that that is what we would get it if, if the inventory was sold. But under generally accepted accounting, we define that as the inventory's current replacement cost, okay, by purchase or reproduction, except that the market should not exceed the net realizable value, so our selling price um, in the normal course of business, and be less than the net realizable value reduced by an allowance for um, approximately normal profit margin. So basically, we've got a ceiling and a floor. Okay, so um, our net realizable value is the upper limit, and our net realizable value less a normal profit margin is our lower limit. So if our replacement cost is within that range, uh, it represents market. If it's above the ceiling or below the floor, uh, the ceiling or the floor becomes the market price. Okay, so as a result, um, the designated market value is a number that falls in between those three possibilities. So it's replacement cost, net realizable value, and net realizable value less a normal profit margin. Okay, so then we're going to determine from that the lower of our cost or market. So in here, our problem, we have those different values. So we have our cost, we have our replacement cost, and we have our selling price. Okay, so we want to determine using our lower of cost or market rule what we should value our inventory at. So down below here I have the products again A, B, C, D, E. We have our replacement cost okay 35, 70, 55 and 28 and that was given to us in the first part of the problem. Then we are going to have our disposal cost. Now I already have uh, the formula in here so our remember our disposal cost is going to be equal to our selling price okay so it's going to be equal to our 60 times our cost which is 10 percent of the selling price and which is our sales commission and then add to that we have a five percent of the unit cost and in product A the unit cost is forty dollars so it's going to be 5% of $40. Add those two together, and that gives us our disposal cost. Okay, so our disposal cost is $8 in product A. Our selling price is $60. So our net realizable value, that's our NRV, is going to equal to our selling price minus our disposal cost, so 60 minus 8. So our net realizable value is going to be 52 and that's going to be our ceiling for this particular product next we need to calculate our floor so in this case it's going to be equal to our net realizable value minus our normal profit margin so our normal profit margin is going to be 30 percent of the selling price which is 60 okay we will close the parentheses on that thing and our net realizable value minus our normal profit value margin is 34 so that's going to be our floor so what we want to do is we want to look at our net designated market value remember we're going to take the middle of those two well the middle of of these three our net realizable value our net realizable value minus our um, normal profit and our replacement cost is in this case the replacement cost so it's going to be equal to our replacement cost in this case of 35. Our cost of our item is 40. 
from above. So the unit value that we're going to use for product A is going to be the lower of cost or market, which in this case is going to be $35. So we're going to actually, well, our inventory will actually be valued at less than what our actual costs are at this particular time because we're going with the lower cost of market rule. Okay, then we will do this for each particular product. So we're going to take, again, our disposal price is going to be our selling price. I'm going to put a parenthesis here, our selling price times our disposal cost, which is 0.10, plus our um, cost which is in this case 80 minus or I mean excuse me times our 5 percent point zero five and I should have put parentheses around these here in my formula so we'll do that so the 5 percent is my commission so I have fourteen dollars of selling cost my net realizable value again is going to be equal to my selling price minus my disposal cost or in this case eighty six dollars okay my net realizable value minus our normal profit so it's going to be equal our net realizable value of eighty six dollars minus our normal profit which is going to be our selling price times our normal profit is 0.30 so my floor is going to be fifty six dollars so I have a high of eighty six I have a low a floor of fifty six my replacement cost is seventy so the my uh, in my middle value is going to be equal to my replacement cost in this case of seventy okay my cost from above is eighty dollars Oops, 80, not 90. So my lower of cost or market, we're going to value that unit at 70. Okay, next I'm going to jump down to product D because this will give us a little um, different calculation. So again, we're going to do our disposal cost, which is going to be 10%, 0.10 times our selling price. So in this case, it's $130. Okay, plus my cost which in this case is a hundred dollars my our times are point zero five which is our shipping costs so I'm gonna have disposal cost of eighteen dollars my net realizable value then is going to be equal to my selling price minus my disposal cost which gives me hundred and twelve is my net realizable value next we need to so that's gonna be my ceiling next I need to calculate my floor my floor is calculated by taking my net realizable value, so 112, minus my normal profit, which in this case is going to be our 0.3 times our selling price of 130. Okay, and that's going to give me a floor of $73. So my designated market value is the lower, it's going to be, has to be between my selling price or my net realizable value and my net realizable value uh, for the, the nonprofit, the middle value. 70 is the low, so we're actually going to use our floor of our net realizable value minus our net profit. So it's going to be $73. My cost is $100. So my per unit calculation in this case is going to be $73. Okay, and if we do carry this out to do E, again, we're going to calculate our net realize, or I mean, first let's calculate our, so it's going to be equal to our selling price, put my parentheses in here, selling price times our disposal cost of 0.10 plus our um, commission, or I mean, our shipping cost, which is going to be our cost which in this case is twenty dollars times point zero five so my five percent shipping cost so I have a disposal cost of four my net realizable value or my ceiling is twenty six my net realizable value 
minus our normal profit is going to be equal to our net realizable value minus in parentheses it's our selling cost so our I mean our selling price so our selling price is 30 times our profit margin of 0.3 okay and that's going to give me a floor of 17 so I'm looking here and my replacement cost is $28 which is over my ceiling so my ceiling is actually my middle value so I'm going to use 26 as my designated market value my cost is twenty dollars so in this case my cost is lower than what my replacement value is so using lower cost or market we are going to use the value of twenty so that is how we calculate uh, according to gap our unit price for inventory using uh, lower or cost of market hope you found this helpful